Hello everyone. This is my max out for Tavington Boathouse. Can I leave the uh, road open for uh, basically a parade of provisions to come through here? As always, I've walled this in as well as I do all my settlements. Right down to the water. Built a basic uh, housing. Except in this one I did put a nice, uh, not nice, but a bathroom and a nice viewing deck up here. If you only have a place with water, you, you might want to enjoy a view of the lake. And also, once you get a body of water, you might as well have some place to uh, get rid of things. Now one of the things you'll notice is the diseased Brahmin are not here anywhere. Um, I have a posted a video on how to get rid of them or at least uh, move them out of sight, out of mind. Now I didn't delete them. I just kind of moved them where uh, they're not a problem. So once again I posted a video on how to do that, how to move them out of your way. Uh, the other thing you need to do is there's a blood bug that spawns over here. You, uh, if you kill him right where he's at, he'll stick to the ground. You can't move him. So you got to kind of lure him away and kill him somewhere over here in the dirt. And uh, then build before he has a chance to respawn. And if you build um, a different kind of flooring, he's... Uh, the, uh, which one is it here? Some structures. If you were to use the shack foundation, you would actually see him underneath here. This was shack foundation. I, I tried it before. And you basically see him under there buzzing around, kind of stuck in the ground. But once you've laid this, uh, you don't have to worry about him again. He's, he's pretty much done. He's always a nuisance, constantly responding. And now he's all together just done. So the lamps, uh, one of the new expansions. I how they look. But I walled this in because over here to the left, there tends to respawn bugs all the time. And they would fly through this area. But now that I've walled this in, I, I haven't had a problem with them at all since then. And there's really not much you can really do with this. I just kind of put some boards over it so I could walk in without having any problems. I'll do just the basics as far as the house goes. Where's the bars here? There's not a great amount you can do with this because the building on this is somewhat limited as far as what it'll allow you for size. Whereas the settlements that are tiny, they have a huge amount of settlement available. There we go. And one thing I did like about this is how the market turned out. Tavington Marketplace. Once again, uh, you can't build a lot here. But you can make what you have work. Turrets on both ends. Once again, you have to keep the road open because provisioners pass through here. I didn't bother fixing the roof because I wanted to save the construction materials to kind of make everything else look nicer. And so there's your housing, the marketplace, plenty of defense. Got 25 people, food, water, they all got beds, seem happy enough. Plenty of defense. And best of all, no diseased Brahmin within view. So you can build your heart's content. So if you build it how you want, and with the uh, blood bug diseased Brahmin out of your way, it is much easier to do just that. Once again, a video that will show you how to get rid of it. 
and uh, in the video I don't completely go through the entire process. I show you the basics. But it does take a while. And once again, let's build a wall and get rid of the evidence. What are you going to do with a foot of space? No huge loss. Hope is useful. My video on the Brahmin is useful. But I haven't found anything else that shows you how to do it without having to use a mod. And that's it. A lot you can do with it. Uh, just I recommend using your build and not wasting time and materials fixing a house when you can use it everywhere else. Including a nice well-lit road that I enjoy. Y'all take care.